We begin tonight with continuing coverage after Iowa Wesleyan University announced it would close its doors. Today, hundreds of students are left to figure out what they will do next. News 8's Jenna Webster joins us live in Mount Pleasant. And Jenna, it's not just current students impacted by this decision, right? Yeah, Linda, there are currently around 850 students enrolled at the university, but that doesn't include all the incoming students who just got their acceptance letters. And some of those acceptance letters were sent out as recent as two weeks ago. One incoming student had just gotten her acceptance letter. She's currently a nice licensed practical nurse and wanted to go back to school to get her bachelor's degree in nursing. And she says this program at Iowa Wesleyan was perfect because she could do the two year program without having to do any other extra steps like tests or certification. So now she says this whole situation with this last minute notification has left her frustrated. I still feel like when they were accepting, they should have been like, hey, you know, like we'll accept you, but just be aware like things might change or just be like, we appreciate your interest. Um, we're not accepting applications right now. Uh, we'll contact you when we are or we'll let you know, like if we're not going to or like something. I just feel like the way that it was handled could have been better. Now, Grace says the biggest thing for her will be finding a school that's still accepting applications because she says many nursing programs actually closed their applications last month. Live in Mount Pleasant, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. All right, Jenna, thank you. Meanwhile, the university president cited several reasons for the closure, including inflation and enrollment trends.